Now the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game. If that does not work, you can try these in launch option. So go to Steam and then make a right click on the game, select properties and go to general tab in launch option type in dash Vulkan and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can try dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder and then over here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam just make a double click click on yes to allow and try launching the game from the game installation folder now let me close the game if that does not work make a right click once again select properties and this time Put a check on over here and then select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, this time select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, make a right click on the second exe file, go to properties and then again run this program as an administrator hit apply ok if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 hit apply and then click on ok and then launch the game still not working disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game now still not working in that case when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok do the same thing with this first exe file uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok now follow the next step now the next step is to now if you are using any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security in that case open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game install is c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select this exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps select the second exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the exe file and then open and then click on add once the game is added again click on allow another app click on browse select the second exe file click on open now click on add in my case this is already added once game is added over here now click on ok and now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select a product type for me it's geforce experience so i'll select geforce now for product series select your series so make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card. Make sure that you 
select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this is game ready driver now click on search and then click on download now once the download is complete uh, run the exe file so click on download once again and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings now click on browse over here and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select this exe file and then click on add and now click on options high performance save again click on browse and then select the second exe file click on add once added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game file so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files and once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 so you have to install both these files click on it now once the download is complete you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow now download x64 file as well now run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and then let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check are uh, still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 
two, four, five, seven, six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have these racing wheel, hotas, pedals, anything connected, disconnect all the USB adapter, dongle, connected to the computer which you are not using and disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties go to the general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then launch the game and then check also close all the other overlay applications so if you have if you want to turn off overlay like turn off overlay in discord turn off overlay in GE for experience or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of overclocking application like MSI afterburner revert tuner or any overclocking application close it and then launch the game and then check to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then go to system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing you works in that case you can make a right click select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try installing the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd or hdd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.